So it looks like Mojang has already started working on the next major updates, which are 1.17 and 1.18, which is really crazy if you think about it, considering we don't even have the Nether update yet. They haven't released any betas or snapshots for the Nether update, and we're not going to see anything for Nether until after the holiday season. So the fact that they're already planning way ahead is really fascinating and interesting and it makes you wonder what do they have in store for Minecraft in 2020. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video because we're going to be talking about the next major updates 1.17 and 1.18 as well as some possible world building elements we might see in the nether update 1.16. If you're just really excited for the Nether update and future content in 2020, do me a huge favor and destroy the like button for me. In fact, let's see if we can get over 11 likes in today's video. And don't forget to hashtag Stealth Army as well because I will be liking and favoriting some of the best comments in today's video. Now, let's go ahead and kick things off with the original tweet that started this entire discussion about 1.17 and 1.18 on Twitter. And all of these tweets are directed at Maria, who's a game developer from Mojang. I'm sure you guys recognize that name. And it started with Beetho Venus saying, Hey there, I was curious if you guys have any plans on adding show don't tell in game examples of how to build nether portals for the nether update, like incomplete slash broken shrines that can be found across the overworld. That way people don't need to look it up which is a really clever idea. I think this would be really awesome to have in the Nether Update 1.16, so hopefully they do something similar to this, so keep your fingers crossed. But Beetho Venus continues by saying, I ask because a gripe of mine with some of Minecraft is that for a lot of things, people need to do online research to understand how the game mechanics work, instead of it being hinted in-game. The Nether getting an update is the perfect opportunity to add something like this. Also, I'm a sucker for lore. So Maria replies saying, I agree with you, we need to do a better job at guiding players to core mechanics in the game. Which is a great idea because I feel like they could do something really awesome with the nether update, possibly introduce nether artifacts or nether ruins where you can find portions or a part of the nether portal and then you just have to reconstruct it. So like I said, there's some really awesome ideas and things that they can do outside of the nether as well. To make it simpler and that way you don't necessarily need to go to YouTube or some sort of Wikipedia page in order to figure out what you need to build. But let me know what you guys think about artifacts as well as ruins in the nether. But let's continue because this is where they start to talk about 1.17 and 1.18. Guramas responds by saying, Gran had good ideas too if you want to check them out. Maria replied saying, I have seen them. Guramas, oh nice, it's really cool that you already take feedback for 1.16. And then Maria replied saying, we are also working on ideas for 1.17 and 1.18. It's crazy. So you could already tell that they have some really awesome things planned for future updates. Updates we won't even see until Minecon 2020. So that is far out, that is a long way from now but it still gets you excited and makes you wonder what are these crazy ideas? What are these things that they have planned for Minecraft? We've been talking about the cave update for at least two to three years by now. They know that the cave update is one of the most popular update ideas. It's under review on Minecraft feedback as well as the sky update. I mean, there's a ton of ideas that have a lot of support that are currently under review on feedback. So maybe I'll do a separate video for 1.17 and 1.18 ideas. But share some of your update ideas down below. What would you guys like to see out of 1.17 as well as 1.18? More than likely, it's going to be the cave update because it's such a popular update idea. I'm guessing everybody that works at Mojang as well as Microsoft Studios knows about the cave update at this point. I'm sure the entire community has tweeted at them, has asked them questions about the cave update. So more than likely, this will be the update we see in 2020, but you just never know. They could fool us, they could surprise us like they have in the past, but hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. And I wanna say thank you again for all the crazy support lately. It's been a lot of fun just streaming, but we're gonna get back into the video grind. I promise you that much. So notification squad, y'all are the best, and I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care, everyone. Peace.